Now I need the church to pay attention. This is going to be my sermon. I'm going to touch it real short. I'm going to sit down. Listen to me. If you're sitting here in doubt of what the Lord has said about your life, listen to me. I don't care about your denomination. I don't care what you've done in the past. If you're sitting here and you're doubting the Lord for anything, I need you to pay attention. This is important to where you're going this year. Brother Mike, read slowly with your prolific voice. Go ahead. But Moses said, here I am among 600,000 men on foot. Uh -huh. And you say, I will give them meat to eat for a whole month. Stop. In the desert, did we have anything to eat when we started off? What did the Lord provide as we were going? The same people Moses is with right now. They're doubting God again. Stop it right there. Stop it again. If you're in 2020 and you're still doubting God, I need to stop you right now. Because you're about to repeat the same year. He said, listen, I believe, Lord, but help my unbelief. In order for you to go into 2020, you must get it right in your heart and in your mind and trust God. Those same 6,000 people, 600, 600 people that were with Moses before. 600,000. 600,000. You understand? 100,000. My God. Stay with me. <laughs> that looks insurmountable. Who had that much food? For a month. For a whole month, I got to feed six. Anybody logistics in the army? I am. You Come on. Y'all know y'all got to plan for, for months to send food to folks. But listen, Moses is with 600,000, and he's looking around like, where am I going to feed them? Oh. You got an issue in your life right now when you're looking around like, how am I going to solve this? Well, from the time you said, how am I going to solve it? You're in trouble. Oh, because the scripture said, I can do all things through Christ Jesus. Who strengthen me? Well, if that's what it is, I'm already messing up. Read it. Keep on reading. Would they have enough if flocks and herds were slaughtered for them? Uh-huh. Would they have enough if all the fish in the sea were caught for them? So, so, wait a minute. If you're talking to God like that, if you're talking to God like that, then you already lost. You're telling him, I don't even know why I'm talking to you. Because this is impossible anyway. Oh, stop. He's telling me, I'm going to show you how to read this thing. And then he's saying, he's pretty much saying, God, I'm just saying it just to make you sound crazy. I want you to notice and feel and, uh, and see what I'm looking at right here. Should I go catch all of the, the fish in the sea to feed the 600,000? He's telling me, I don't even know why I'm doing this because it's impossible. But with God, 